I'd like to welcome everybody. If we can begin. Uh, my name is uh, Alan Luxenberg. I'm president of the Foreign Policy Research Institute. Uh, this is our 53rd History Weekend for Teachers, or uh, 54 if you count the uh, week-long study trip we just took to uh, Korea, some of which uh, participated. For those of you who are not familiar with FPRI, it was founded in 1955 by Robert strauss Pei on the premise, as he put it, that a nation should think before it acts. It was not bad advice then. It remains good advice today. Our mission then is to bring the insights of scholarship to bear on the foreign policy challenges facing the United States and to educate the American public. strauss Pei was one of the early popularizers of uh, geopolitics which, to put it simply, looks at contemporary international affairs through the lens of history, geography, and culture. Or, as uh, one of my colleagues likes to say, we study the realities of the mentalities of the localities. As a uh, Philadelphia institution, we're proud to serve as a neutral meeting place for many of the region's scholars, which kind of makes us a place where great minds meet and where new synergies are born. Uh, at the same time, we're proud of our uh, geographic expansion, offering uh, regular programming not only in Philadelphia, but in the mainline suburbs, in Princeton, in Manhattan, and in uh, Washington, D.C. Through our print and electronic publications, we reach audiences uh, across uh, the world, and this is amplified by our presence on the web and in social media, including some 200,000 fans on Facebook. Uh, this year marks the 60th anniversary of FPRI and the 25th anniversary of the Marvin Walkman Center for Civic and International Literacy. That was begun, we began that in response to a request from the school district of Philadelphia to provide professional development for high school teachers in Philadelphia. And that eventually grew into the series of history institutes uh, that reach teachers all around the country. And uh, that is what brings us here today. Now, for their financial support of this weekend's conference, we thank Bob Fox and Jerry Lenfest. Uh, I, I also would like to thank uh, my colleague Tali Helfont, the director of our Middle East program for designing the, the conference this weekend, Tally. And uh, uh, Rachel Hemler, who manages uh, all the logistics. Uh, she might be outside the room, I'm not sure. And Paul Dickler, who is the associate director of our Walkman Center, Paul, who uh, is the only human being on the face of the earth who has attended all 54 history programs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's uh, safe to say there would be no History Institute without my colleague, uh, Walter McDougall. He is the Aloy Anson Professor of International Relations at the University of Pennsylvania, co-chair of our Butcher History Institute, a uh, Pulitzer Prize winning historian, and a, and a Vietnam War veteran. I've asked uh, Walter to say a few words to get us started, so please join me in welcoming Walter McDougall. Good morning, welcome to Philadelphia. I don't know how much of the city you're gonna get to see over the next 26 hours, but uh, at any rate, um, glad to have you here. My name is, Alan said, is Walter McDougall, the Allo Anson Professor of International Relations and History at University of Pennsylvania, and the co-chair of the Butcher History Institute. It's really an honor and a privilege for me to be affiliated with this truly remarkable enterprise. Evidently, we've been doing something very right for the past 23 years. Uh, and as Alan has said, this is our 54th History Institute for secondary school teachers. <clears throat> we found favor, I believe, with our sponsors, and especially with you. You, the self-selected, dedicated educators fighting the good fight on behalf of America's children. Thank you for your calling. Now, we live in an age of instant communications 
when young people, as you know very well, uh, as do I even in college, teaching college, are constantly distracted by social media. I look out at my students in the lecture hall and they're all staring down at their electronic machines. And I don't know whether they're taking notes or whether they're looking at the PowerPoint slide that they can get on, online um, or whether they are just on Facebook. But nevertheless, this is the world that you have to confront. Uh, even your students who do try to follow current events are likely to flit from one crise du jour to the next, uh, uh, whatever the, uh, the next news cycle says is the important thing to think about, and then, then two days later somehow it disappears, uh, without any of the time or the knowledge needed, that they need to gain perspective on events. And the purpose of the Butcher Institute is to equip teachers <coughs> with the historical and cultural contexts, which you then can take back to your classrooms and impart the knowledge and at least the beginning of wisdom about the critical issues of our time. If you're a veteran of our institutes, then you can join me in promising our newcomers an exhilarating 26 hours that will leave your head spinning. <laughs> Believe me. Now, Thanks to our all-star lineup of speakers, and kudos to Tally uh, uh, for selecting and attracting them. And last but not least, thanks to President Alan Luxenberg, who has served FPRI with loyalty, efficiency, good judgment, and grace for 39 years and counting.